Hey everybody, this is my 11th day of the Camino. Nothing really changed. If you watched my other videos, it's pretty much the same. I'm just walking, meeting people, having food. And now let's jump into three days from now and let's finish the Camino together. So let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. As you can tell by how my voice sounds, it's very early in the morning and we have to cover 27 or six kilometers today. And it usually turns out to be 30. I don't know why, but I always end up walking way more than the app tells me to. Look at this beautiful sky. Look. I think in Portugal I was walking by myself all the time and there were not so many people on the Camino but in Spain a lot of other Caminos joined together and I think since this little town Redondela the Camino is full of pilgrims not only individual pilgrims or friends or couples but also organized uh, groups Last couple of days I've been walking with Diego, the Spanish guy who's from Galicia, that's the state that we are in right now. And he knows so much about this place, he shares everything he knows. This is a little tongue twister challenge we did yesterday, watch. Okay, we are doing tongue twisters in three languages, go ahead. Tres tristes tigres comían trigo con trigal. Tres tristes tigres comían trigo en un trigal. Yeah, perfect. Okay, woo! <laughs> Now, she sells seashells at the seashore. She sells seashells <laughs> in a shore. <laughs> I feel blessed and he has amazing energy. He's very funny, outgoing. And yesterday he left Albergue alone and he came back with nine other people. That's how um, sociable he is. And he's, again, very funny and very nice and very considerate. And yeah, I will miss him. I'll miss you, Diego. These are orreos, a little construction to keep the corn in. And Diego told me that it's preserved heritage. And if you own it, you can't just modify it without the permission of the government. <laughs> A lot of old people are doing this Camino. I think almost 80% of pilgrims are above 60. I'm at a 75 year old. And I think that's because Camino needs patience and discipline and young people are not really famous for that. The town or the towns that I just passed are slowly waking up and that's my favorite part of the day and then after a few hours the sun is going to be here it's going to be extremely hot and sweaty and i don't like that this is perfect perfect look at this beautiful stamp they gave me in the albergue two days ago yeah. Wow. It was like a little performance that she did. I really appreciate that effort. Hola, ¿hay algún bocadillo vegetariano? No. ¿No? No. 
vale. Una tortilla. Tortilla. Y un café largo. Un café favor. largo. Y un zumo de naranja. Mi fratello. Mi fratello. As you can see, I gave up on my veganism. It's impossible to stay vegan on the Camino. I've been eating vegetarian food. This is Spanish tortilla and little egg pie with potato. I can't believe today is the last day. Well, potentially, I'm not there yet, but... This Camino has been my life, man. Like waking up, start walking, getting to the albergue, resting for the next day, and then what am I gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> Seriously, should I like just go back? Maybe not. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. I thought it would take like 20 days, but today's the 14th day and I rested on one day. I'm fast. I didn't know I was that fast. I believe fall would be really, really beautiful here. I mean, imagine all these leaves in different shades of brown. Huh? <sighs> have a good reason to come back one day <laughs> all right it's time to take this off and put the cap on second half and the sweatier part of the day has officially begun so if your backpack is really heavy and you don't feel like carrying them there's this service that brings your backpack to the next hotel that you're going to i think it costs 10 to 25 euros depending on the distance some people really benefit from it. You see how small her bag is? She's definitely using the service. I met this pilgrim who did the Camino many times and she was complaining about people who do Camino on electric bikes or use this service. I don't get it. Like, who the hell are you to judge, you know? Never mind. Just people do whatever they want to do. You do whatever you want to do. <sighs> The benefit of so many people on the road is that you can never take the wrong turn. I haven't been paying attention to the signs today, I just follow them. I think I know why I end up walking five kilometers more than usual. Because as a girl, you need to walk two kilometers into the forest to find a spot to pee. I'm sorry. It's so easy for a man and so difficult for women. <laughs> I want to stop and do some yoga and stuff, but I am so excited to get there. I don't want to waste a second. 15 kilometers. 10 kilometers. And the next one will be just one digit. <laughs> Can you imagine? One digit.
there are no more signs on the road because it's just one straight line, but I definitely have only one kilometer left. I am very, very close and this is very exciting. You see that? That's where I'm going. Here it is. <laughs> I made it. I don't know what to say. Diego. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> You made it! Yeah. How do you feel? No, great! <laughs> nice! How are you? Great, I feel great! Yeah.